we need zigzag path and the net uh, this will be the disk speed uh, we know all the basic from ohm's law we brought all the things no this will be and there is no moment of positive charge it will be moving it will be only electron but we assumed it a conventional current so that will take like this now this about all we know now what is the effect of the temperature on, <coughs> on this resistance of conductor and from the ohm's law what we wrote uh, that resistance rho equal to length l by e and what is rho rho is called as resistivity of material resistivity of material or it is also called as specific resistance and it will be different for different material resistance of two materials can be same but specific resistance will happen or the resistivity must be different here the reciprocal of resistivity we call conductivity I'll, so you do come across all the words so you just uh, once again have familiar when it comes semiconductors i define conductivity since we are discussing the rest of chapter no i'll focus more on the symbol rho that one so how they are related the reciprocal of conductivity is what resistivity this is the one overall relationship <coughs> Okay, now I, I, let me raise the temperature of this conductor. Then we know uh, all objects will undergo thermal expansion. The length will increase, area of cross section increase. What will happen to the resistivity of material? As it is also going to change. The resistivity will vary. The variation of for most of the metals so it's a books they have given straight line so it will be a curve we can put it so almost for uh, temperature change of 100 degrees even the change in resistivity is so small that we can assume it to be a straight line that's when the book what happened instead of this curve no they just put a straight line nothing wrong in this one so this will be the temperature in degrees celsius this will be the resistivity. So what will be the unit? <coughs> unit for resistivity, ohm meter. Then at zero degree Celsius, it will have some value, rho naught. This will be the variation, this one. Actually, it will be a curve. For most of the metals, open, the variation is so small with the temperature, the resistivity, that we assume it to be almost a straight line. Even if, if they give curve also justified, means some, some books even they give curve like this. Huh? Nothing wrong, huh? that one. But it should not start with zero. Zero resistivity of material not possible. At zero degrees, it will have some resistivity that will starting with the row note. So there's a variation of resistivity. So what is actually resistivity? What actually it is? The resistivity itself depends on what? Depends upon a tau the and the eta so if you can recollect the formula <coughs> so the resistivity if you go back to the basic thing no so we derived an expression for the resistivity of material well I'll, I'll get you back the equation tau is equal to mass of electron by eta Rho eta q square. And this one. So this is what that eta. So you write it. Q square eta tau. Mm. Let, let's come for one by one. The ratio is for different materials. What is the eta? Eta is concentration of free electrons. What do you mean by concentration of free electrons? Uh, it depends upon the <coughs> atoms, the density of material like that. So concentration of free electrons. So that will be different for different materials. What is the tau? Will be different for different materials. That's why the resistivity will be different for different material. No, this itself is going to vary with the temperature because we know as as I increase the temperature, then due to thermal agitation, due to thermal agitation, the outermost valence electrons they'll get enough energy and they will become free electron. So what will happen to eta now? Yes, it will come into picture. Then similarly, what happened? Tau tau will change. So altogether, as I increase temperature the resistivity of material will increase. For most of the metals, it will increase. For semiconductors, the resistivity will decrease. For semiconductors, the resistivity will decrease. So what actually the uh, 
uh, how do we can see uh, what is that rho uh, so if the resistivity increases what should happen to resistance of conductor should increase means now at the increased temperature indirectly shall i say that the resistance of conductor increases as the temperature as the temperature increases resistance of conductor increases as the temperature increases resistance of conductor increases uh, what do you mean by resistance shall i say that uh, more collisions it will occur uh, why do that more collisions so we'll st <coughs> stick on to the conductor the increase temperature the thermal agitation of the free electron will increase what do you mean by thermal agitation that that particular motion the the random motion the zigzag motion that will further increase so as it most as it more zigzag path more number of collisions will occur more collisions means greater the resistance offered by the material to the flow of path this what happens here so as it increase temperature so what will happen to electrons the atoms which are there they'll start vibrating more rigorously about their mean position due to their more rigorous vibration the electrons which are there so what happen will encounter more collisions the zigzag path will further increase more number of collisions will occur then more collisions means nothing but more resistance offered by the material to the flow of charge so in this world pen the resistance will increase so that we are showing by mathematical by practical proof like that in fact as a very temperature itself the resistivity of material itself will change the resistivity depends on what depends on eta and tau as they'll get affected the tau will decrease the eta what happen will increase so the product of these two is such that the resistivity will increase so this is a practical thing so nothing to do with at our level we'll, we have just information so practically what happen they have seen the graph <coughs> it varies with the temperature it increases with the temperature this is for metals huh? what, what i'm discussing is for metals so at 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 atomic level what happens as temperature increases resistance of conductor increases what is the reason there what actually happens the vibration of the atoms vibrate more rigorously about the respective mean positions this is one thing so we'll write no note let me write it huh? so that you can make observation that atoms vibrate more rigorously about their respective mean position hmm? the moving electron Uh, the free electron you write here the drifting electron let me write the drifting electrons encounter more collisions hmm? Th this for all three any uh, more than one option they may ask you hmm? you have to be careful here so this particular alpha now so i'll define now the resistivity is varying no so uh, the ratio of that anything that one so here we'll define coefficient of thermal resistance alpha this should be equal to delta r by r into delta theta like how we had linear expansion of coefficient of linear expansion similarly coefficient of thermal resistance or thermal quotient of resistance i think this i'll just will follow the ncert term again you'll get confused thermal quotient of resistance and this, this alpha uh, let me use word r if i bring all alpha theta it is thermal 
quotient of linear expansion quotient thermal quotient of linear expansion this is thermal quotient of resistance so definitely the resistance will vary there is a thing so this delta r if i expand it r alpha delta theta what is delta r so this will be r dash minus r equal to r alpha delta theta so r dash equal to r into 1 plus alpha delta theta this is applicable only when delta t is alpha delta t what happen practically alpha what happen will also be very small that one so here this particular formula when you should apply that one what should be the condition for delta t delta should should be should be small not like something very large it's a very large then you have to apply the formula alpha equal to dr by r dt so how we define this uh, quotient of thermal quotient of resistance the change in resistance it is defined as the ratio the change in defined as ratio of change in resistance per unit change in temperature per unit resistance dr is what change in resistance per unit rise in temperature per resistance so that like this what happen we define thermal quotient of resistance similar to quotient of thermal thermal quotient of linear expansion we we define it uh, when to use <coughs> this formula when to use this formula when to use this formula i think in uh, the quotient of thermal expansion we do define the things like this no so when alpha is something variable no then you are going to take help of this condition dr by dt is what slope it will become here what happen this is like a average this will become instantaneous at that temperature average velocity instant velocity similar to that suppose say if it is this is r this is t if the curve is like this huh? you want to define alpha here so what you should do draw a tangent draw a tangent here at this point calculate dr calculate the slope of that then with that we'll get the alpha <coughs> dr by dt into the value of r at that particular value at that particular temperature change in temperature so you go for the value of r like this so what about the delta r suppose say if it is a And then then uh, shall I shall I take up of no alpha? So how, how how we measure alpha? So this alpha can be measured now. So here we'll write delta R. So it the the average average <coughs> value of R, delta R by R. delta theta so like this we define the things here that one so it's similar to like a uh, or a range of temperature at, at that temperature dt is will become very small no there you calculate slope multiply by what is the value of r where you are calculating this should be the value of r that you substitute when you substitute you'll get the alpha at this thing so it depends upon the numerical or pen we have to choose the particular formula so most of numericals no alpha will be almost a constant no so we'll be sticking on to this particular thing go that in so why the resistance will increase there is a background the thermal agitation of free electrons as well as the atoms about the mean portion will increase due to thermal agitation the amplitude of vibration will become more the electron the drifting electron will encounter more collisions so because of more collisions the resistance will increase so that we are expressing the theoretically when we checked all the equations no? finally we got here so can i write also the in terms of uh, rho is yes, we can also write this as alpha equal to d rho or delta rho by rho into delta t that's for the basic form the first equation i brought it no i'll i'll, I'll write it here only so for a bulk of material if you are discussing for a material then use this formula if you are discussing about the resistivity use this particular formula B both are same or or if it is at temperature at temperature 
at temperature zero degrees Celsius, the resistance will be say R naught at any temperature. The resistance is R. Then what is the formula will be R equal to R naught one plus T. If it is at temperature T one degrees T one degrees Celsius. T1 degree Celsius is the resistance is R1. T2 degree Celsius resistance is R2. How do we find out? So what is R1? R1 is equal to R0 1 plus alpha T1. What is R2 is equal to R0 1 plus alpha T2. Is that okay? Basic thing. So R2 minus R1. R0 into So this will be R naught, R naught alpha T two minus R naught minus R naught alpha T one. So R two minus R one should be equal to R naught alpha T two minus T one. I think the same very basic definition. No, delta R is equal to R naught alpha delta T. Uh, temperature, I'll, I'll, I'll make it capital letter. Huh? Time again, you may get confused with the time. Okay, I guess so these are the some <coughs> various ways in which in the, some numericals can be asked here. Just quotient of thermal expansion, how, how we did know the similar mathematics is what will be taking help here. I'll change everything. Uh, capital. Okay, fine. Yeah. Welcome. If such uh, resistors 